Well, this is a real handful. In this review, we're looking at Mammut 1-87 truck models, and there are six trucks in total delivered in five separate boxes. They are all made by Tema Toys. We have Volvo, MAN, Scania and Mercedes-Benz tractors, and a variety of trailers, some of them with loads. The models come in two different styles of packaging, and we'll start with what's called Mammut 1287 Set 2. And although the contents are not described on the box, the logos tell us there's a Volvo and a Mercedes-Benz inside. As you can see, the outer box style is red and black. And for this set, the models are contained within a plastic former. It contains a three axle and a six axle semi low loader, and there are two tractors and a couple of bag of parts to go with them. The other four model boxes are in a different style, and although there's some Mammut branding, there's no black to go with the red. There are some photos of real machines on the box, and the packaging inside is different from the first one that we saw. It consists of folded cardboard, which helps to retain the model in place. But it's easy enough to get the model out, you just fold the cardboard back. And we can take the model out, which in this case is an MAN TGX, complete with ballast box. Don't be confused. For this review, we'll look at the assembly, detail and features of each model in turn. We'll start with the MAN and ballast box, and there was a loose beacon light which had to be glued back. And then for all of these models, you have to fit the door mirrors. Obviously, in the small size of 1 to 87, the parts are small, and it's a bit fiddly, and the parts are a little bit loose when fitted. Next, for this model, we just add on the ballast box, and it just drops in place. Moving on to the detail, and it's reasonable for an inexpensive model. The transmission and rear suspension is modelled. But steering is not implemented. The wheels spin OK, and if we look at the detail of the MAN cab, then it's quite nicely decorated. The cab is a metal part, and it's nice to see that the graphics include a fleet number. The tower behind the cab is plastic, but the ballast box is a metal part with sharp graphics. Moving to the back, some moderate detailing can be seen. If we get the MAN out on the road, then it rolls well enough in a straight line. Next to look at are the pair of semi low loader models, and out of the box, the huge kingpin on the trailer drops into a hole on the tractor. This set includes a three axle Mercedes Benz tractor and a four axle Volvo. Looking underneath the trailers, the detail that is reasonable for the scale, and that's also true for the tractor units. Again, because of the small scale, the steering on the trailers is not modelled, but all of the wheels spin freely enough. The two tractor units look pretty good, and like all these models in this scale, the number plates are not replicated. But a good job with the front grills has been done with both models. Now, if you're paying attention, you get to see that by now the standard of detailing is pretty similar on all of these models. And it's a nice touch that they all include fleet numbers on the cabs. Looking at the trailers, you can see that there are different storage boxes on top of the goosenecks. And the trailer decks are also quite different, not just the number of axles. Looking at the rear end, the trailer detailing is very good for the scale. In terms of functionality, the models roll well. And a very good job has been done to have all of the wheels grounded. You can also see that there's a full range of movement at the fifth wheels. One nice bit of functionality that both these trailers have is that they are extendable. And you can always put a load on, such as tower crane parts. Next up we have a Volvo FH4 plus 4 axle low loader, and this one comes with a load, which is a 20 foot container. The trailer detailing is very good, particularly along the deck edges. The container is plastic, but it has doors detailed at one end, and the rear of the low loader also has decent detailing. 
Looking underneath, the detailing of the tractor is at a similar level to the other models, and the trailer detailing is okay too. In terms of the functionality, all the wheels spin, but again, there's no steering implemented. Like the other models, it rolls well enough in a straight line. As you would expect, you can remove the container to put a different load on, and the holes you can see in the deck are to stop the container moving about. Also particularly good on this trailer is its extendability, and that's a feature which also applies to our next model, which is a Scania plus semi-low loader and a wooden box. The Scania looks very good even in this scale, and again the front grille is modelled well. Like the other tractors, it's got a fleet number, and those of you with eagle eyes and a superior intellect I have probably realised that the wooden box is actually not wood. It is plastic and it's decently detailed to look like wood. And at the back, the back of the trailer looks like the back of a trailer. The last model we look at is a Mercedes-Benz Actros and Semi-Low Loader. And this one also includes a load which is described as a concrete beam. It sits on two big carrying adapters and these plug into holes in the Semi-Low Loader deck. And one option for displaying the model is as you see it here. But wait, there's another option. What we can do is to extend the deck, and then the beam does not have to overhang the gooseneck. And this model is also good because the storage box sides are included as a separate part. And if you want, you can clip that onto the gooseneck. The standard of detailing is the same as the others, but you won't be surprised to hear that the concrete beam is in fact plastic. These are inexpensive small models from Tema Toys. They would look good on a model railway layout in the same scale. And many of these trucks pair up really well with the Liebherr LTM 1500 mobile crane in the same scale. So if you want to have a small scale Mammut fleet, these models are good. Mm -hmm.